Good evening, everyone. Blessings, brothers and sisters, here again, sharing the spoken written word tonight, uh, this blessed Friday. This, again, like I always, I find it in my spirit that there's always a continuation from my previous video. And this is a continuation of Isaiah 54, verse 17. Um, and it, it, it coincides what Abba Father states for the righteous and what he states for the unrighteous, for the ones that choose him and for the ones that choose not to choose Abba Father's righteousness. Th this is the breakdown, loves. Um, and I love to share. When it brightens my life, when it brings healing to my soul, loves. When, when it's pondering of things of what life brings into our lives um so i'm sharing uh through video with all of you and uh the word of our god is amazing as i state often it's amazing what abba father through men that even if they got persecuted, laughed at, mocked, ridiculed, um, tortured, they still stood firm of what they heard Abba Father state. And so it it is, as I stated in the previous video, Abba Father states, we have a heritage. There, there's something that he leaves for us, for those who love his name, who love his son. <laughs> Let me start, loves, because when I feel my emotions... Stirring to come out, crying. Um, uh, I know that I need to cover my head. Forgive me that I looking. And um, the heritage that Abba Father left for his children, for his chosen people. Those who, like I stated, that scripture states that love his name. That means we love his son. Um, And because we love his son, which is his name, he gave his name to his son, the name above all names, is how he gave them authority, gave him authority in heaven and on earth. And through him, we get this amazing heritage. But this breakdown, loves, comes with pain because the Word of God states the Word of God states the opposite of not having the heritage of our Father God. And, um, with a heavy heart, I still stand firm. This is the spoken written word, loves. Uh, 
So with strength pulled down from my Abba Father through his son, I am sharing the spoken written word. So Father, I come in the name of your son Jesus and I give you all glory for your word. You give me the strength and the wisdom through your word, your voice, Father. And through the Spirit, through your Holy Spirit, Father, is whom guides us, not just me, but guides everyone that is servant to you, Lord, that is in submission, in obedience, in your righteousness, Lord, Father. We stand firm in your word, in your spoken written word, Father. All glory to you in the name of your son, Jesus. And loves, again, this is Isaiah 54, 17. That one verse is where I'm getting the breakdown from that verse. And Isaiah 54, 17, I'll bring it up again. It's, this is the heritage. It says, it, the beginning of it, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon, no enemy that stands before us loves. Enemies. Abba Father says no. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, Abba Father says, says the Lord, our God. Abba Father states that no one can come up against us. No one loves. And our heritage for us being the servants of our Abba, Father God. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord our God. What heritage, loves? If, if before this, verse 17, is no weapon, no weapon, formed against us shall prosper. You know what our heritage is? Like it states, I will place the, the video before this one under the description box and I'll pin it in the first comment. Again, if you don't see it, if it's pinned, just there's three little horizontal lines. Just click on that, put newest comment, and it'll pop up the, the comment in case you don't see it pinned. But I'll pin it there. The video that will coincide with this one. Because if Abba Father says that our heritage, that no weapon, no one that can come, that will get the courage to come up against us, knowing who our defender is, it's protection. Our heritage from our Abba Father God is this hedge of protection. That's what these enemies see. And with arrogance, they say, we're going to bring her down. Man, we're going to bring him down. We're going to bring them down. Why? Because in their hearts, God doesn't exist. God isn't real. They feel they have that strength, as you'll read in a little bit, or I'll share. So Abba Father states through Isaiah 54, our heritage, that this no weapon, no enemy, no enemy, even if it seems that they're winning, Abba Father promises our heritage is his righteousness, his protection, loves so these enemies or these nations, as it states in the word, the Holy Spirit led me to 
Isaiah 17, verses 12 through 14. And this is what it states. And again, with a heavy heart, it's hard to read it for oneself. But you know why Abba Father gives us the strength? Brothers and sisters, is for the love, for the love even for our enemies to heed the spoken written word because they don't want to be here. Abba Father writes this down so they have that chance to repent from their wicked ways, loves. He wants them there in the righteousness from him. He wants everyone, as I stated in the video, Isaiah 54. It is for the, it's Isaiah 54 and Isaiah 45. So on one of those two, it states it is for the whole world. He wants everyone to receive his righteousness. Everyone loves him. And this with a heavy heart, Isaiah 17, verse 12. And it even starts with woe. Woe, which it means despair. To the multitude of many people, enemies loves, who make a noise like the roar of the seas. If anyone's ever heard the ocean when there is a storm, it is loud, loud. If you if you have people around you, family, you have to speak very loud to hear each other speaking when that sea is roaring. So Abba Father uses that that example of many enemies coming towards us, many, that he uses the example to the multitude of many people, enemies, who make a noise like a roar of the seas, and to the rushing of nations that make a rushing like the rushing of mighty waters. Verse 13 out of Isaiah 17 the nations, these enemies, will rush like the rushing of many waters. But, but, loves its states in verse 13, but God will, God will rebuke them and they will flee far away and be chased like the chaff of the mountains before the wind. If there is a mountain and it has solid rock, and all you see is the mountain with this solid rock, solid rock all around it. But when this wind comes and you're standing in front of this mountain, you're looking up to it and the wind comes, you see dirt and little pebbles flying off the mountain which is not part of that solid mountain so Abba father uses that example he says they will flee far away and be chased like the ch chaff of the mountains before the wind that dust those little pebbles fly away and all you see is the solid the solid rock of the mountain you'll never see that dirt he says, chaff here. But that's the example that Abba Father says. He'll rebuke them. He'll chase them. That's the spoken written word. This is Isaiah 17, verse 13. For all those who form against us to hurt us as we serve our God, Abba Father states, these enemies come like the rushing roaring of mighty, of many 
rushing waters? But he says, but God will rebuke them and they will flee far away and be chased like the chaff of the mountains before the wind. That's a kept promise, loves. Like a rolling thing before the whirlwind. If you live in West Texas, you'll understand what Abba Father is stating here. Like a rolling thing, like a, a tumbleweed. Before the whirlwind, it just, it tumbles away. It goes away. From their loves, Abba Father gives good illustration through his word. I love it because in our lives, loves, we, we understand what he's stating. And he gives good examples of what he will do to these nations, to these enemies that form against us, his servants. His beloved children. His beloved chosen people. But because they serve the mere God of this world, they have the same pride and same arrogance as Lucifer, Satan, the devil, that they feel they can, that they can form against us, but they forget. We have a heritage. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. And that, from Isaiah 54, verse 17, is protection. We get that amazing protection. From Isaiah 17, verse 13. I'll stop there because I still have verse 14. But from verse 13... And it's amazing. He took me to Psalms 9. Psalms 9 loves. Because the nations will rush like the rushing of many waters. But God will rebuke them. They will flee far away. So Abba Father says in Psalms 9, we remember, it says, I will praise you, O Lord. Why? Because God rebukes these nations, these enemies. He rebukes these that form, these weapons through enemies, nations. That form against us, Abba Father rebukes them. So Psalms 91, it, it brings in remembrance to our heart, to our soul, to our spirit, to our mind. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High God. What name loves Yahshua? Jesus is the name above all names. So we take heed in that holy name, loves. When my enemies, is still Psalms 9, verse 3. When my enemies turn back, they shall fall and perish at your presence. Why? His presence? Because Abba Father states, I will rebuke them. That means he stands in front of us. When there are forming weapons against us, in front of us, Abba Father rebukes them. So Psalms 9 verse 3, when our enemies turn back, they shall fall and perish at your presence, at the presence of our Abba Father God. For you have maintained my right, our right, and our cause loves. That's Psalms 9 verse 4. 
Abba, Father's good. His name stands firm. And that hedge of protection love stands firm as it states, verse 4, for you have maintained. Abba, Father, maintains his word, that heritage, that promise, his righteousness that he places in us. He states, for you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat on the throne judging in righteousness, loves. He the spoken written word. He he he's that protector. That no matter what the enemy states of us, knowing that they're uttering nothing but lies. They forget who is our protector. They forget whose righteousness is within us who places that righteousness within us and that's our god and these enemies with pride and arrogance they must not know the word of our god because they need to heed the spoken written word because there is consequences when i finish isaiah 17 verse 14 it's heartbreaking it's heartbreaking i'm still at psalms 9 to break down verse 13 out of isaiah 17 loves take notes again i will place everything that i share under under the description box uh, it is the breakdown of how I am led through the Holy Spirit of my God. In the name of his son, Jesus, I speak the truth. He guides me on how to break it down. And it's amazing because, again, it enlightens the wisdom that I am trying to grasp, grasp from the word of my God through his son. So verse 4 from Psalms 9, you, For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat on the throne judging in righteousness. That's the beauty of it. Loves because Isaiah 54, 17, The heritage of the servants of the Lord is no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And their righteousness is from him, from me, Abba, Father states. So when he sits on his throne, loves, hold on to that mighty name we love, the name he gave his son, Jesus, Yahshua, our Lord, our Messiah. Take confidence when he states, for you have, when we tell him you have maintained our right, our cause when you sit on the throne judging in righteousness, loves. Verse 5. Well, you know what? No, no, no. Let, let, let me stop right here. I need to stop. For you have maintained my right, my cause, and you sat on the throne judging in righteousness. I'll stop there. And read the last verse from Isaiah 17. And it's, Then behold, at even tide trouble. Because remember, loves, verse 13, The nations will rush like rushing of many waters, but God will rebuke them. So verse 14 states, Then behold, at even tide. This is Abba Father. And it says, at even tide, trouble with an exclamation point. And before the morning, he is no more. This is the spoken written word of our God that behold, because God rebuked them at even tide. Trouble for these nations, for these enemies, loves. 
and before and and it states and before morning he is no more those nations those enemies that have tried to form these weapons against us because god is the one rebuking them they're no more they are no more loves by morning this is the portion of those who plunder us and the lot of those who rob us. Okay, that is the verse of Isaiah. That's verse 14, Isaiah 17 loves. And from there, it takes me back to Psalms 9 verse 5. And right there where it says, and before the morning, he is no more. This is the portion of these who plunder us. What does plunder mean? They rob by open force, loves. As in war, they war against us wrongfully as by fraud. That is what the enemies do. They lie with lying tongues. Loves, again, from four videos down. All this is tied down. How the Holy Spirit, by bringing these verses the from Ezekiel 36 to this video, Abba Father, through the Holy Spirit, has brought light to what is brought to them who is against us. And Abba, Father, is good, loves, he's good to, to, to hold his word. Again, then behold, at even tide, Trouble, loves, it says trouble. And before the morning, he is no more. These, these who, these enemies, these nations, their portion of these people who plunder us and the lot of these who rob us. Let me tell you what their portion is because they come wrongfully by fraud build weapons against Abba Father's people. So I continue the breakdown, loves. And again, we continue Psalms 9, verse 5. You have rebuked the nations. Abba Father has rebuked them. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever loves. Keep the word. That is the portion of those who plunder us and the lot of those who rob us. They fraught. They wrongfully fraught our name abba father states in psalms 9 verse 5 you have rebuked the nations he has because we go to isaiah 17 verse 13 but god will rebuke them and they will flee they will flee far away and be chased like the chaff of the mountains before the wind that they fall away they will go away but psalms 9 is is heavy it states for you have rebuked the nations he has you have destroyed the wicked far away from us but he's destroyed the wicked and he has loves because they did not heed the word they did not turn to Abba, Father God. God states in his word, Psalms 9, verse 5, the wicked will be destroyed. And Abba, Father, you have blotted out their name 
forever and ever loves. Because we know as true believers that we, as children of our God, loves, our names are written in the book of life. Every name. But here, Psalms 9, because these people formed against his people, he will blot their name forever and ever, it states. Psalms 9, verse 5. From verse 5 out of Psalms 9, Psalms 9, it took me to verse 7, and it states, But the Lord shall endure forever. He has prepared his throne for judgment. He shall, he shall judge the world in righteousness, and he shall ad administer judgment for the people in uprightness. We want to be there, judged in righteousness and in uprightness. Why? Because it states, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is from Abba Father. So when Abba Father, as it states, In Psalms 9, verse 7 and 8, He shall judge the world in righteousness. That means that He will judge the righteousness that He has placed within us, loves. And that's true righteousness from His Son, through His Son. So Abba, Father, states, And He shall administer judgment. For the peoples in uprightness. That's the spoken written word loves. Again, that's power. That's glory in our God. But it's painful to hear what happens to these nations. These enemies that form against us loves. Is why we still Administer goodness, righteousness, love, so they can turn because that is a heavy burden for anyone that does not turn to Abba, Father God. And I'll end it again. I'll end it at Isaiah 54, 17. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from Abba, Father God. As he states, the Lord our God, that's protection, loves. Protection from the nations and the enemies through his righteousness that he places within us. This is how, how we hold on to it for what is stated in the word loves. It's the spoken written word of our God and it's good. It's good. It, it, it allows us to turn away from the nations, from the wicked nations loves. And turn back to Abba Father. Don't stay with the enemy. Don't stay with them. Come back as Lord Jesus says. Turn to me. That's the spoken written word loves. But because many do not know the consequences in one's lives if they choose not to obey the word of God loves, they don't know the heaviness. The heaviness of the consequences that will be brought in their lives for their wicked ways. But blessed are we 
For Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord our God. Blessings, everyone. All glory to you, Lord Father, in the name of your son, Jesus. Good night, everyone.